Hello, Springfield Public Library YouTube watchers. My name is Librarian Kara, and I'm super excited to be bringing you an unboxing video today. Or perhaps we should call it an unbagging video, because today I'm going to show you what is inside Spring Stitch's first grab and go art bag. Spring Stitch is a great program that we've been doing for years where we get together and we craft. But because we can't get together in person right now, we are going to be giving away Spring Stitch Grab and Go craft bags. And you can register for these bags. It's limited while supplies last. Registration opens on Monday morning, January 4th. So if this unboxing video makes you go, ooh, I want some of that, then next Monday, January 4th, go onto our website go into the events page and register for your Spring Stitch Grab and Go bag. But now without further, ad further ado, let us get to the unbagging. And you know, something I always find funny about unboxing videos on YouTube is it's like, well, most of the time, didn't you order it? Don't you know what's in it? Well, yeah, you might be going, Librarian Kara totally knows what's in this bag. And sure, I mean, I can look at the picture of what's in the bag online, but that's not the same as getting your hands on what's in the bag. So you might notice, first of all, it's in one of our stylish to-go bags that we do use for curbside pickup as well. What's great is that you get to keep this bag if you want to, or you can return it to the book drop and we will happily reuse it. And oh, there's a note on the bag. Let's see what it says. Spring Stitch to go, bag number one, Alter a vintage book. Ooh, a book craft. I like those. So it tells me what's in the bag. There's pots of paint, tacky craft glue, a paintbrush, a vintage book, and odds and ends. Ooh, odds and ends. I wonder what that's gonna be. So, oh, interesting. It's not actually giving me like direct instructions for what to do, which I think is really nice because it's giving me ideas. Like I know I'm supposed to alter a book, but it's letting me choose what that means to me. So I'm going to use these art supplies or any supplies that I have on hand to turn the pages of an old falling apart book into a new masterpiece. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Oh, and you know, it also reminds me that, uh, emails if you have questions, but we do have an email list for Spring Stitch. So if you want to make sure that you're on the list to be notified the next time we do a grab and go bag, you can sign up for that. It's also on the Spring Stitch events page on the new website. So, okay, I took this out and was like, mm, I wasn't even looking and now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's called The Gambler and it's by Catherine Cecil Thurston. And I love this picture on the front cover. So this is the old book that's falling apart. It's not in good condition that I get to alter. But I love that it's got an exciting um, sort of already before I start altering it. There's beauty to it. It's a masterpiece. I feel like I've got a cool canvas upon which to work. Also, almost tempted to read the book because The Gambler. But nope, nope, I'm going to alter it. So what else is in the bag? Oh, cool. Different colored paints. I like it. It's a lot of different colors, but not too much. So I don't have to worry about wasting paint. You know, I don't have a paintbrush at home. So yeah, crafting, I'm more of a knitter myself, but this is nice. It looks like a nice quality paintbrush. I'm excited and good size to fit into the paint. That's nice. Okay, so I've got paint, I've got a paintbrush. So I can already see myself like painting. I'm not sure if I wanna paint the cover. Maybe I'd wanna paint the inside pages because there's something about that cover I like. Ooh, but you know, my grandmother used to, or my great grandmother used to hand tint black and white photographs. I wonder what I could do to change that photograph on the cover with some paint or some other supplies. All right, what else do I have in here? Oh, magazines. Right, because you know, paper crafts, collaging, that's a really popular thing. 
But you know, instead of just using the pictures in here, what could I do with the words? Okay, I'm just, just thinking aloud, you know, I'm being inspired by what could I do. And then I've got more magazines, cool. Nice huskies on the cover there. All right, oh, tacky glue, interesting. I've never used tacky glue before. You know, maybe I, in my childhood, didn't get as much crafting as some kids. Maybe everybody else knows about tacky glue, but okay, cool. I'm liking it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> odds and ends. Okay, no, you can't see that very well. Let me get this closer to you. Okay, I've got really cool buttons. Oh, it matches my outfit. Very nice buttons. All right, and then I've got uh, sequins and like little confetti bits and more buttons. Oh, this is great. I, you know, I can bedazzle this book, like not just alter it, but bedazzle it. I am a child of the 80s. Absolutely like to bedazzle things. Okay. And, oh, interesting. Ribbon. You know, that makes me think bookmarks. It makes me think tying up the book. I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued. What, what, what could I do with that? And some cutouts. So, this is a great start to a craft project to alter books. And, what I love about what I'm seeing in this bag is that already in my mind, I'm like, no, I don't have a house full of crafty stuff. What could I add to it? Nothing, I thought. And then as soon as I started seeing some of what was in the bag, I was like, oh no, I have that thing. That would be great for this. Or as I said, I like to knit. I have so much yarn. What could I do to alter this book using some of my yarn? But I didn't have the right glue before, but now I do. And I can feel my creative juices flowing. I'm really excited. So this was my unboxing of the Spring Stitch To Go first grab and go kit. And remember, odds and ends means every kit's gonna be a little bit different. Different book, different things in there, but same basic premises. So if you are interested, this is our adult crafting program, so it is geared towards you, the adults of the Springfield Public Library population. Registration opens January 4th. If you have problems getting onto the website to register, just pick up the phone, call the library. We will help you get registered. Again, remember you can also sign up for an email list to be notified about future grab and go bags. and. This is while supplies last, so register as soon as registration opens if you're as excited as I am to get one of these bags. Thank you again. This is Librarian Cara with the Springfield Public Library. It was a lot of fun to show you what was in this bag, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.